Hi, everyone. My name is Zach, and I'm a director of product here at Shopify, leading our custom storefront effort. What I think most people know is headless. Truth be told, this is my first ever Unite, so I'm really happy to be here and to get the chance to chat with many of you. I'm looking forward to your feedback and some of your harder questions. I think the simple truth is that over the past couple of years, our APIs and headless offerings haven't gotten as much attention as we would like. Last year, we had big plans, but then like all companies, our roadmaps were affected by COVID and we had to make some necessary adjustments. But I think today represents a big shift in our priorities, and we're really going all in on making sure that Shopify is the best platform for building custom commerce experiences on top of. I think there are really two big parts to this shift. The first part is what Ilya talked about earlier today with the big investments that we're making in our APIs, both on the performance and capability side. And while we're by no means done, I see this as the first big step. You should expect us to continue iterating and improving here on a regular cadence moving forward. The second part of that shift is what Toby announced with hydrogen and oxygen. This is really us bringing JavaScript and React into the Shopify ecosystem as first class citizens right alongside Liquid. And of course, these hydrogen experiences, exper experiences will be built directly on top of the same APIs we've been talking about. I think you're gonna really like where we're headed. Now, I'm sure there are gonna be a bunch of questions about hydrogen and oxygen, and we'll try our best to answer wherever we can. But remember, these are brand new technologies and there's still very much a work in progress. We'll share what we can today, but I would also encourage you to sign up for updates at shopify.dev slash hydrogen. With that, I wanna introduce you to Morgan, who I think many of you might already know, to talk a bit more about the APIs and what's available starting today. Thanks, Zach. Hey everyone, my name is Morgan and I'm a product manager working on custom storefronts. Some of you may remember me from Unite 2019 and our panel on the power of unique shopping experiences with the Storefront API. Great to connect with you folks again. And for everyone else, looking forward to chatting over Discord shortly. So our main priority for Unite was really doubling down on the Storefront API. We wanted to address some of the immediate pain points for our existing users. Ilya has already walked through some great examples of this functionality, so I won't do that again. But I do want to be clear about what's available right now and what still needs some tweaking based on your feedback. So version 202107, which is available as of July 1st, will feature international pricing, local pickup, selling plans, and meta fields. In the unstable version of the API, you'll see the cart and filtering for collections. And we also have a preview of the new schema, which Ilya mentioned. Both the stable and unstable features are actually covered in tutorials available on shopify.dev, so be sure to check those out. But what I'm the most excited about actually is the new space that we've created, which is this public repo for engaging with you, our community. This is a chance for us to get feedback on some of these items uh, as we're building them or even before we've started building so that we can ensure we're really addressing your needs. So let me actually quickly go through that so you can get a lay of the land. Okay, so it's a pretty standard GitHub repo, but the biggest difference here is that we're using GitHub's new discussion feature. So we have four categories here, and the first one is help. Pretty standard, this is where you can come to for help and ask your questions if you're getting stuck, and maybe even answer some questions for those in the community as well. We do have the frequently asked questions pinned at the top and we'll try to keep that updated as we go. Next up, ideas and requests. This category is empty right now, but it's ready for all of the feedback that you have for us on general functionality, perhaps on developer ergonomics. Let us know what you'd like to see uh, in terms of improvements to the Storefront API. For more specific feedback, we've created this RFC section. And this is where we, the product team, need your help in order to finalize something that we're working on. So you'll see here, we have a few different requests for common issues already. Uh, please jump in and give us your feedback on the cart as you play around with it in Unstable. You'll also see, for example, that we have this new overview of the schema evolution. So take a look, read through some of the changes that are happening. You'll see a detailed list here. And again, let us know your feedback before we lock things in. And then lastly, we have the show and tell section. So we love seeing the creative uses of the Storefront API. So please share them loud and proud and let us know what you've been able to build with this API. So 
This platform is really gonna be a great way for us to be more collaborative with you, our developers, but also be transparent about some of the things that we're working on as well. So I'm looking forward to having a central place for connecting with you moving forward. But let's kick off the convo right now in Discord and open it up to you for some questions for the product team who are here with us today.